It's already hot, bruh. Welcome, welcome back to the channel, Chris Can Hoop, where I hoop, I react, and do a bunch of stuff. Today, I'm gonna be taking you through my workout that got me shifty. We'll be using a women's ball for the beginning, and then during the normal reps, we'll be using the regular ball. It's the Wilson NBA Forge. It's women's size, size like, what is this, a six? It's small. We'll see how it goes. I'll be telling everything I do during the workout. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Let me know if it helps. Of course, I'm in the Crocs. Come up, one, step. They're just anchored throughs to a delayed tween and back again. Loud rim, bro. It's about six times. Last one. If I mess up, I start over. I do a few stationary drills, one of which is like cross, swing, back, cross, swing, back, but on a ladder. So one, 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 one. It'll be two, 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 to five, then back down, I'll do that one time. Then I'll do a cross, swing, back all the way up the court about four times. With these, I don't start over if I mess up. Just going to the move that's next. On even numbers. On even numbers, you don't really have to switch because you're doing the same amount of work on both sides. Switch on odds. So it's three. Four. Five. Back down to one. There was four. Three. Oh. Oh. Knees, lower back. The reason I'm using smaller ball is because it helps with control. You have no choice because the ball is smaller. Less to grip onto. Round two. And one. Each side. Okay. Thank y'all, that's over. Not done with the small ball yet. Just putting on my shoes. If you haven't already, watch the review. Wade Fission 8 Pandas. Amazing shoe. Any in the lab products, use code Chris Can Hoop for $5 off. Put the crotch aside, time to stretch. Don't sleep on stretching. Do ball roll downs. Shout out CG3. From the side, you're literally rolling the ball down your leg. So I do some of those. I've already stretched before the video started, so I'll just show you what I do. Do ball roll downs. Do some of these. Stretch the inner leg. 
dynamic stretches I prefer <laughs> static stretches can kind of get you injured sometimes <sighs> get that oh lord I don't know if that's the inductors or abductors it's been so long since I took that class to know what's what butterflies obviously and then always as usual get that mid hamstring stretch don't try to push yourself too hard on stretching i'll put a guide to stretching later form shots honestly surprised more people don't know about this like hidden basketball court and it's not even really hidden i just i think that people just don't drive over here they're probably asking, why form shots, bro? It's a good shooting warm up. It's a good warm up, but in all practicality, workout for shooting is to shoot the ball. Don't listen to any guru who's telling you, oh, you know, just do these exercises for shooting, bro. Shoot the ball. And I just keep going until I feel warmed up. I usually advise against, like, oh, do this many sets of whatever because, like, everyone's different. I just say, go till you feel warmed up enough. on the women's ball now if you hoop you're gonna notice a huge difference with this women's ball so the 1v1 you've probably already seen on the channel or if I've released this first that you're gonna see is like Sean Livingston all, all mid-range but it, it wasn't really this is literally just the beginning of the workout it's the warm-up Again, everyone's exercise tolerance is different, so you can't handle it. Not a problem, tailor it to your needs, but these exercises do help. And honestly, I just like shooting free throws to pass time, so that's why it's heavy on that. Now we'll work on coming up court both ways. One, two, cross swing back. One, two. Oh, Lord. If you lose the ball, you lose the ball. It happens, bro. Oh. Be sure to drop your shoulders and move with the ball. So on your cross, it should be swinging. Same thing. So. One more. 